Hello, and welcome to another walkthrough from WebPonks. Today, we are going to talk about conversion API and Meta or Facebook. So you may have come across that there is a new integration that is available in your Meta Ads Manager, apart from the Meta Pixel, which is called Conversion API. So today we are going to talk about what exactly it is and how it works. So Conversion API is a new method of tracking users on the website for your Meta platforms via Meta. So what actually, how is it different from your um, Meta Pixel is? Because Metapixel starter is actually based on web events. So the browser, when a user goes to the website, the user lands, uh, goes to different pages, they look at events, all this data is sent through to the through website browser, and then it feeds back into the Metapixel for your reporting in Meta Ads Manager. The issue with that is there is something called ITP 2.0 currently, which is called Intelligent Tracking Prevention, which is actually limiting most of your browsers to stop sending data to third-party apps like Meta. So why that is going to affect you is in time, at the moment, you may have noticed that Safari and iOS, Apple devices are actually limiting any sort of data to be sent to, to these data sources, third-party data sources. But this is actually going to change even more drastically by next year when most of the browser will follow the same suit and actually they will not um, send any data to any other third party applications. So this has some implications on how you're going to track the data. Today, we are going to talk about a little bit more about this. So I'll share my screen with you. So just to give you an update, like how this actually works. So for example, you have your website currently, this is how it works. So you go to your website and this, the data gets into the Metapixel and that's how your Facebook reports are created, your audience list is generated, who has gone to which page, what products they are interested in, and all those Facebook events get aggregated into your reporting on Meta Ads Manager. Actually, this whole Metapixel is set up on a third party cookie, which is on the Meta URL which obviously is separate to your first party cookie that is your domain. So the browsers are not going to allow it and they will say, we will not send any more data for this users or we will only send limited data. So how Meta actually came up with an idea is they actually introduced conversion API tracking. So this actually API tracking is set up on your server container on Tag Manager or even your server side container. So what actually it does, because the server is connected on your first party cookie, which is analytics.yourdomain.co.nz. And that's when the, con the conversion API, because it's on your server, you change the third party cookie to a first party cookie. So this is where you get your traffic, get more aggregated in your reporting as compared to the limited and limited numbers, how it was going to. So how you can do this? So if you actually go to your um, Facebook Ads Manager account under Events Manager and Data Sources, you will see you have a pixel there and you can go to Manage Integrations. So you will see an option on it. And when you select that, and you can see in this instance, we have already simply implemented the conversion API tracking. But if you have not done it yet, you can go to Add New Integration and connect the conversion API. And once you have done that connection through the server, you will actually see this data comes up for conversion API tracking for all the other results that you're seeing here, all the events on the website. So this event could be a add to cart or a page view or viewing a content. So if you see in this particular case, we actually have not stopped the Metapixel data. So we are using Metapixel and conversion API, both of them together. The important of importance of like using both of them together is like Meta has more data to show that report to you. It can follow through the journey of the user very well to know what this user is going to the website. So there are certain benefits that you can actually use out of the Meta Conversion API as well. So some of them are it can actually improve your connectivity for the data, as I was saying earlier. It can optimize your ads for actions for what actually happens with the customer when they visit the website. Are they viewing a form? Are they viewing a product? Are they adding to the cart? Or if they're not adding to the cart, all those events can be used to trigger certain uh, ads for your campaigns. So you can do that. It actually improves your measurement. Like, so 
previously, if you were only able to get this data for 30% of the users, you can only target 30% of the users effectively, whereas you're getting a lot of noise out there. Whereas if you increase that threshold and you get more people to uh, have the measurement and you have more data points on them, you can actually target more people who are likely to purchase from you. And it actually also increases the event matching and reduce the cost as per the result. So this is great. I think this is something what future holds. And I think everyone should be looking at in changing their meta pixel, which is you call Facebook pixel from the website to a server and get more of these data points being tracked into it. For most of our clients, we have already done the server side tagging. So if you already have that set up, it's a very easy for us to connect the conversion API to the same server. So it's no extra points for you. So we can use the same one. And if you have not done the server side tagging, we can do the server side tagging setup for you as well in the first place and also improve your Google Analytics data at the same time conversion API as well. Yeah, so that's about the conversion API today. So I really hope you got some insights out of this and, and please talk to your project manager if you have any questions around this or give us a call and we can help you with that. Cheers, thank you, bye.